Hello everybody, Starving Electrician again. Today we're going to be going and reviewing the Ideal SureTrace Pro Circuit Tracer Kit. And uh, we'll go over the features and everything that this entails inside here. But let's start off with this hard shell case. You gotta love it. But uh, let's dig in inside and uh, see what uh, this kit has in store for all of us. Okay, like what I showed you before. Beautiful hard shell case. Oh yeah, I'll get her open. Ah, uh, there we are, crown jewels. All right, comes with all your extra batteries, everything that you're gonna need. Here's your receiver and your transmitter. Now this is how we find circuit breakers. You have the receiver, the transmitter you plug it in to find any circuit in your house. Um, it can find anything electrically, uh, telephone cables, coaxials. So it admits a signal. And then with the receivers, where we find it. So we can do it on cable, one end of the cable, what have you, but you know, for electricians, for circuit breakers, this will, uh, it'll give you, uh, you have your intensity, I'm sorry, of the tone, your volume, stuff like that. And it'll uh, it'll show you on this display here uh, when you're at the desired breaker. So that's what this does. So I'll give you an example of that. Comes with, of course, all the different cables, everything like that, so you could find anything that you want. And then here you have the inductance uh, sensing clamp, commonly known as an amp probe. So you clip this around a wire and it could tell you what that wire is drawing. So you know if you're overloaded or not. All right, the most important part of this tracing circuits thing is the transmitter itself. You got the sure trace circuit tracer TR950. So simple enough, hot neutral ground right there. So you have your cables which plug into the wall and then you've got your black, red and green simple enough to find that circuit but there's a few other neat features to this as well so it also comes with alligator clips so remember when i told you about you could find cable tv different kinds of wires well that's what these are for so if you're in the rough end stage and you want to find uh the, the circuit or where this wire goes or what have you if you have your box open you know hook your alligator clips up you're black and your red and they find each one of those wires whichever one you want to find your hot, your neutral, ground, whatever, your circuit. Now, also too, if you want to find, maybe where's this uh, light switch going to? Where's this light going to? Where's the switch? Well, it comes with one of these little doohickeys that you screw up into there, into the light socket itself, and then it comes with these different fittings. You could find them both if you wanted to, or you could find the hot, the neutral. Uh, you could use these for, um, if you want to just, just to find the hotter than neutral. If you have a circuit that you think that the neutral's out, I, you can trace it back with just one of these. You don't need to find the whole circuit. If you want to find the whole circuit, this goes back to the panel. It transmits through the hot and the neutral. But if you just want to find one of those, these just plug into your, your extra cords that it comes with. Plug it into the extra cord. Plug the cord into the transmitter. And uh, then that's where you're transmitting the signal. Then you take your tracer and you go along your circuit and you can find your circuit, each plug. So you can see where that hot might be going into or that neutral. Maybe you're going around and that neutral just stops. Like, ah, there it is. There's my problem. So that's what's great about this. A lot of different functions for this. And I really like this if you tore out your wiring and your, your uh, socket, you know, or what have you, your switch. Clip on your alligator clips, it'll get you back home. Okay, boom, that one went up to the light. Okay, I traced it out. Okay, this one went down to the plug. Okay, traced it out. So all this stuff is invaluable. So you need all this stuff with it. So next we'll do is I'll just give you an example. I'll plug it into my uh, garage circuit, turn it on, and then just go to the panel. It's simple enough. And then it's just, you'll, you'll just hear the beeping, nothing, then a beep, and then boom, you found your circuit. So this is amazing stuff. Uh, yeah, it's a really great kit by Ideal. You're gonna like this. Okay, I've got this plugged into an outlet in the garage. See, it's also a voltage tester, 122 volts, my neutral ground, everything's okay. Um, so we're good to go, power's on. So it's transmitting a signal uh, all throughout the circuit and into the breaker. So now we just need the receiver to find out which one it is. Okay, I have the receiver and I have it set to the lowest display setting. So, um, I want to see the, the lowest intensity. Um, see if it picks up with even the lowest intensity on. So let's see. You touch it on each breaker. Let's see which one it is. 
the way. Zero, 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 zero. Yeah, so that's the one. That's the breaker. Right there. Easy as that. Found it. So you can, I mean, you could hear it and you could see it. So it's great uh, to display both ways. So it's really idiot proof. I put the uh, sensitivity down really low. Now, if you turn it up really high, it, it can detect it. It's not good going right to the panel because it's going to detect anything. What that's used for is a circuit, which is going underground, and you could find where that circuit is. So that's what that's used for underground. So really awesome uh, receiver as well. Okay, and next up to the test is a sure trace inductive sensing clamp. So let's take this over here, I'm charging my car currently. Okay, here we are at the breaker. If we wanna see what amperage we're pulling on each leg, to you know if we've got the correct breaker size, it's on a 60 amp breaker. Simply clamp it around there. Oh, we're on we're at 30 amps. And you know what, honestly, folks, regardless of what this tester is telling me, that's telling me that we're at 100% of the capacity of this breaker. And that, therefore, that means we should be at 80% of that. So we're maxed out. That should be a bigger breaker. If we're doing 30 on each leg, that's, that's, yep, 30 on each leg. So we're at max capacity. So that makes this, uh, sensing clamp i mean invaluable so you know what you're, you're pulling in okay it's per code you need number six or what have you no we need bigger wire no we need a bigger breaker because this thing's really drying so this thing is invaluable you need to get you one of these um as well okay i want to thank ideal for all these great tools circuit tracer plus pro uh i'll leave a link in the description for you to buy one of these for yourself it's invaluable out there um especially with troubleshooting stuff like that uh I've been doing troubleshooting for a lot of years, and uh, this is what you need. Okay, so what time is it now? You know what time it is. It's taco time, baby. Tacos, beers, and I'll catch you all on the flip side.